take a look. If you dare. What's going on? Welcome to the Dark Ages, or as it should be known, the Golden Ages. We have about a thousand years of amnesia, which is called the Dark Ages. In the West, we went through the Dark Ages, and if you like, the, uh, the candle of human knowledge and understanding was carried by the Islamic world. That's the story we want to give. It's like a shock. Ah, inventions? Do these people have inventions, they say? And of course they do. 1001 Inventions is a global educational initiative. Imagine a world of science 1,000 years ago that shaped the world today. This is a world that was lost to so many people, and an exhibition like this brings it back to life and shares all those extraordinary achievements. I think this is quite crucial because what it does illustrate uh, is the, the shared heritage that we all have. We talk about a global society today, uh, particularly in the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th centuries, the society was global then as well. This new space is using the historical roots of science as a means and as a tool for social cohesion and cultural convergence, where people respect and harmonize with each other. Going? From darkness into light, my young friend, from ocean onto land, there are things you should know. Oh, yes, indeed. water-powered clock, instruments for measuring the stars, and a dark room from the 9th century. And on top of all that, it can explain why numbers are written the way they are. A new exhibition traces how the Muslim civilization has influenced science for the last thousand years. It's a wonderful teaching resource we've now got here. We've learned how to translate words from English to Arabic in a matter of seconds. If they never thought of any of this back then, we would have been having like cameras and cinemas nowadays. The exhibition is a blockbuster. In London, we had 450,000 people through the doors, similar number in Istanbul. And here in New York, we're beginning to track large numbers of people uh, into the Hall of Science. During this period, it may have been part of the Islamic Empire, but there were great Jewish, Christian scholars working here. Sabian, uh, Hindus, Buddhists. There were Persians, there were Arabs, there were Turks, there were Chinese, there were Indian. It's just a period in history that people in the West don't seem to know about. There are women who did things like set up universities, who invented scientific experiments, and they're really celebrated in this exhibition. It's done with wonderful imagination and flair, as well as good scholarship. You will learn, but you will be excited. I just completely enchanted by it. It's not just nice pictures and electronics. Every word and letter has been thoroughly vetted by academic peers. 
We have a galaxy of historians of science from around the world. This is historical fact, guys. You know, it's, uh, the world may not know about it, but uh, yeah. they should do. It's a new space. It's a breath of fresh air. We are having a journey to the past, but it's for building and designing a better future.